what are the scaling challenges uh, in, in life? And I'm going to go back to Darren for the infrastructure challenges, first of all, but then I think we can build on that in the production side. So, Darren, talk to us about what the challenges are for infrastructure scaling. Yeah, so, um, you know, I'd say the, the biggest question has been, can, can we see, you know, television size audiences, cable size audiences online? Can we make that transition? Can we really fully move things away from traditional television? And I'd say, you know, 15, 20 years into the live streaming industry, I, I think we're from a, you know, at least from an infrastructure perspective, we're definitely there where we're on a regular basis seeing, you know, uh, millions up to tens of millions of viewers, you know, in live events and, and having, you know, uh, a fairly successful delivery of, of those large events, right? So uh, I would say five years ago, we were maybe seeing some some challenges at the distribution end, maybe the, the downstream piece where we're trying to deliver, you know, across last mile networks and seeing congestion there. I think those have largely been solved. Um, right now, we, we still hear about the occasional event that that falls over or, or you know, has to issue refunds or, or something happens. And generally those bottlenecks uh, are around things like uh, payments, uh, signing up for the event, you know, a, kind of a last minute flood of people rushing in to you know pay their fifty dollars to watch the boxing match and um you know the reality is with you know a little bit of preparation and a little bit of of rigor in your planning like those things are, are usually predictable and solvable and and have plans for disaster recovery right it's always interesting to see you know, the world of the internet <clears throat> aspiring to be like television like broadcast and and i think in the early days we saw you know, some of the, the downsides of that in that it, you know, wasn't always rigorously planned. But now we're seeing kind of the broadcasters come into the world of the internet and bringing some of that rigor that you, you see from traditional television. So when we, you know, for example, when we stream the Super Bowl uh, for Fox Sports, you know, it was over a year of planning that went into that to look at every single point uh, along the distribution chain from the stadium to the cloud, to the user, and for each one of those steps, they had, you know, a plan. Uh, there was no, no single point of failure. There was a redundancy for everything. There was, you know, run books uh, to, to, to uh, execute if they saw even the slightest sign of something happening. And that, that's obviously the Super Bowl. So you're not going to get that with every single event. But we do see that, you know, given the current state of the internet and the infrastructure, given, you know, the rigor that's being brought into the space, I think, you know, these questions of can we scale, uh, you know, to, to extremely large audiences will, will kind of fade to the background. And I think we'll start to see more questions along the lines of how do you attract that size of audience or how do you keep them there, keep them engaged and, and really optimize revenue for your, for your event.